Hello there guys and welcome to this video. This video is a part of learning activity 2 and we are talking about electrical safety and something known as PAT or PAT testing. Okay, now I've put it up here for you to see in this section here, PAT testing or portable appliance testing. That's what PAT testing means. Now what it, what it means is this, in an office environment we have lots of equipment, okay, we have computers, laptops, printers, there's a wide range of equipment. But because you have human beings working there, you most often find other equipment as well. You might find a toaster, you might find a microwave, okay? You might find a, uh, a kettle because people need to eat, as obviously they work. And so we have a wide range of electrical equipment. So this covers not just the ICT equipment that the workers are using, but we are talking about everything in the workplace. Now, PAT testing works by testing all the equipment in a workplace to make sure that they meet health and safety regulations okay we're talking about health and safety here so the company would actually bring an electrical engineer in who is a certified tester from another company to come in and look at the equipment okay they test the equipment with equipped with electrical safety equipment which is an example of what i'm pointing here if you look at the mouse this is some of the equipment that they use now two things may happen the equipment might pass as you can see in here it says passed pat tested for electrical safety or it might fail as you can see here it's either red or green so two things can happen it can pass or it can fail okay now when an equipment passes the test it means it's safe to use okay you are allowed to use it you're allowed to use that laptop you're allowed to use that charging cable okay you're allowed to turn this computer on you're allowed to turn this printer on you're allowed to use this kettle you're allowed to use this 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 toaster to to, to make your toast in the workplace it's fine however once it fails it must be labeled according to health and safety regulations it must be labeled with a sticker which is obviously red clearly and visibly for everyone to see okay and it's the employer's responsibility to make sure that these things are labeled and that all workers know and can see that this equipment is faulty it is not to be used okay and it must be kept separate from all other equipment okay and this is a health and safety regulation this is a health and safety regulation that must be complied with okay by all employers okay you have to have pat testing done regularly at regular in intervals or routinely maybe every three months every four months because if not if it's not done and there is a fire it will affect your insurance because your insurers <coughs> So your insurers might not pay you because you were using faulty equipment, okay? If an employee is electrocuted or dies as a result of using faulty equipment, you're in for some serious legal bills, okay? Because you actually made them or made available to them faulty electrical equipment. And this all feeds back into health and safety law. And just remember the third thing as well, your... The person who is carrying out the PAT testing must be qualified. As you can see here, there's an example. It says City and Guilds qualified. It must be a certified person who is certified to do PAT testing. Don't just bring someone in because they're your cousin or because they're cheap and get them to stick labels on there. You will end up in trouble. You are breaking the law. Now, please go and write about it. Thank you very much.